never before seen footage of the brutal attack on our capital. New at 10, live on Primetime TV. Breach the line, we need backup. The January 6th hearing. We're gonna try and get compliance, but this is now effectively a riot. Democracy unfolding before the nation's eye. We have a breach of the Capitol, breach of the Capitol. Good evening, I'm Joe Donlin. Erica is off. The first hearing of the January 6th committee just wrapped up in the nation's capital. It was highly anticipated by some, dismissed as theater by others. Over the course of two hours, we saw a new video and heard new testimony. CBS 2's Marissa Perlman has been monitoring each development, and she joins us now. Marissa? Well, Joe, day one of the investigation into the Capitol attack, the largest criminal investigation in American history. A key question to be answered, President Donald Trump's role in the January January 6th storming of the Capitol. Donald Trump was at the center of this conspiracy. There's no doubt that President Trump was well aware of the violence as it developed. White House staff urged President Trump to intervene and call off the mob. The committee played evidence of the first breach on the Capitol. A lot of it never before seen footage, some of it not easy to watch. But this is now effectively a riot. 49 hours declaring it a riot. 55 to 50 be advised. Uh, Capitol Police one advised they're trying to breach and get into the Capitol. 50, I copy. And the first person to give testimony, Officer Carolyn Edwards, a Capitol Police officer who was hurt in the attack. She was knocked unconscious and suffered a traumatic brain injury. I was pushed backwards and my foot caught the stair behind me and I, uh, my chin hit the handrail and then I, at that point I had blacked out, but my, um, the back of my head clipped the concrete stairs behind me. I was slipping in people's blood. Um, you know, I, I was catching people as they fell. I, you know, I was, it was carnage. It was chaos. Also tonight, a filmmaker who recorded much of the actions of the insurrectionists and interviews with members of the extremist groups, the Proud Boys, some of who've been sentenced for their role already. In the newsroom, Marissa Perlman, CBS 2 News. Joe. Thank you, Marissa. 21 people from the Chicago area have been charged in the Capitol riots. Here you see their photos. They are among 800 in total accused of crimes on January 6th. The second committee hearing will take place Monday, June 13th. That'll be at 9 in the morning. You can watch it here on CBS2 and CBSChicago.com.